Understanding and Identifying Scholarly Sources What is a scholarly source? When we talk about scholarly sources, we're usually referring to either scholarly journals or scholarly books. Newspapers and magazines like Time or Newsweek are considered popular sources. While both popular and scholarly sources each have their uses, scholarly sources are often required for college-level assignments. And with good reason. Scholarly sources, such as articles published in scholarly journals, can provide crucial support for the claims you make and can help you write a better quality paper. Let's take a look at what makes a scholarly source valuable and how you can identify whether your source falls into the scholarly category. Credibility. One feature that makes scholarly journals valuable is they are considered to be highly credible or trustworthy sources. There are certain features common to all scholarly sources that create credibility. These features are to, to, to the source's authors, documentation, and editorial process. Let's think about the authors first. The authors of scholarly sources are experts who have dedicated themselves to rigorous study of a topic. The result of their research is often published in journals dedicated to that field. There are scholarly journals for all academic fields and they typically only publish articles for their specific discipline. Here's a scholarly article published in the journal Educational Research for Policy and Practice. The author, Ralph B. McNeil Jr., has his credentials and contact information listed at the bottom of the page here. And here is an article from the nursing journal MCM, the American Journal of Maternal Child Nursing. The author's credentials are listed after their name and in fuller detail at the end of the article. In both of these examples, we can see the affiliation and the educational attainment of those who have written the article. Documentation. Authors of scholarly sources document their research using footnotes or a bibliography. This shows us that they have done their research and that they are giving credit to and acknowledging the ideas of other researchers. It also provides transparency in their research and can be a helpful way for you to gather more sources. If you don't see a list of references, you are likely looking at a popular source. Editorial Process Scholarly sources undergo a rigorous review process before they can be published. Some scholarly journals are called peer-reviewed or refereed journals. Articles in peer-reviewed journals are reviewed by a panel of peers before being accepted for publication. Experts and professionals in the same field as the author ensure that the article meets professional standards before it is published. Popular sources such as magazines and newspapers typically rely only on editors who often do not have specific subject knowledge on the article topic. There are some other key differences between scholarly sources and popular sources that are important to take note of. Let's think about the scope, audience, organization, and general appearance of scholarly articles. Scope. Typically, scholarly sources contain original research or look at highly specific topics within a subject field, such as, such, as, such, as, such as this article about anxiety published in the journal BMC Psychiatry, Association Between Depression, Anxiety, and Weight Change in Young Adults. It looks at the topic in a very specific context. This article is the result of a research study. The topic of anxiety is treated differently in this magazine, a popular source. The article, 10 Things You Need to Know About Anxiety, published in the magazine Prevention, provides a broader and more generalized treatment of the topic of anxiety. These differences in scope mean popular sources can be helpful in getting an overview of a topic. However, however, however effective research should also include the subject-specific information and data that is typically found in scholarly sources. To get a sense of the scope of an article, you can read the abstract, a brief summary found at the top of most scholarly articles. Audience. Unlike popular magazines, which are intended to appeal to a large audience, scholarly sources are written for other experts and scholars in the same subject field. 
This speaks to the purpose of the scholarly source. Scholarly sources are intended as a way for scholars to communicate new ideas, highlight new research, and advance knowledge in their field. Look at the language used in scholarly sources. You'll notice they have a much more professional tone and use specialized terminology. They also frequently include charts and graphs representing the data from their research. In contrast, popular sources are intended for a broader audience, so the tone is much more general and the language less technical. They also often include graphics and other eye-catching images that you would not usually see in a scholarly source. Length Scholarly journal articles are longer than popular magazine and newspaper articles. Generally, scholarly articles are at least 5 pages, but usually around 20 pages or more in length. Articles from popular sources like magazines and newspapers are much shorter in length. Organization Scholarly journal articles are often organized in similar ways. Many of them include headings for different sections of the article, which may include Abstract, Summary, Introduction, methodology, findings, results, conclusion, discussion, bibliography, or references. Let's recap. Scholarly sources are written by experts, document their research, and undergo a rigorous review process, often by the author's peers. You can identify a scholarly source by checking the author's credentials and looking for a bibliography or references. You can look for other clues as well. Look at the length, language or tone, organization, and scope to determine if a source is scholarly. If you have any questions, a research librarian can help you. Contact a research librarian through chat or visit the Research Center desk at Xana Library. www.svsu.edu/library. Thanks for watching.